Hello all. Well, it's been a while since we've done an oil update because there just hasn't been too many changes going on. But now there's enough change to where I can make a video. So let's uh, let's go over to the board and let me show you the latest news. Well, it looks like Shell Oil has submitted some new plans to the U.S. government to go ahead and drill in the Arctic Ocean off of Alaska in 2015. Shell has already spent six billion dollars at six billion and has only two small holes to show for it. Let me show you. Okay so Shell if you remember had that basket looking kind of a drilling rig and they uh, what they did is they drilled down to see if they could drill a little bit into the about 300 feet down into the uh, ocean bed. They did that twice to see if it was possible to make this rig work. They did not have permits to actually drill down and start recovering oil. However, the new permits will allow them to drill oil if they get a plan together for what happens if there's a leak anywhere in the system. Shell has not come up with that uh, plan yet. And apparently, Shell has put a four-page ad in National Geographic. If you can believe that, that, that's really disgusting. Both on National Geographic's end and Shell Oil's end. You know, again, if you're wondering what you can do, just don't spend money at Shell Oil. You know, it, 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 that's the best uh, way to protest what Shell is doing. And if you wanted to uh, write them a letter or write National Geographic magazine a letter canceling your subscription and telling them it's because of the Shell Oil ad in the process, trying to uh, uh, solve solutions without tackling climate change problems, kind of hard to do. All right, let's go on to our next one. Okay, there's been some interesting news in China lately. The uh, Chinese demand for oil is down. Domestic refineries and oil production imports are down 2.1 percent from July of 2013 to July of 2014. Um, that's down to uh, 9.61 million barrels per day. Uh, oil demand by the population of China is down 6.2 percent. The reason given is the economy is declining. The reason given for the decline is the economy in China is so abysmal. If you can remember that OPEC said last year in a large report they put out that the Asian countries were expected to go up at least 4 percent this year. Well they were way off actually declining not going up because of the economies are flattening out so badly in everybody's country. Apparently the US might be going up some. I'm seeing a lot of construction and properties being sold here but a lot of that is just uh, local Chinese investors. Okay let's go over to the board and look at our last little piece of uh, oil news. In California fracking has been okayed uh, the studies that they were supposed to do weren't done, so they just okayed, uh, mostly in Kern County in California, which is in the U.S. Now, as you know, fracking causes earthquakes. There's no doubt about it. California is right on a major earthquake fault called the San Andreas. They now have permission to frack BLM public lands throughout California. The problem is that California is not very unflat. It's very mountainous, both above ground and underground. The fracking areas they're sort of after can be anywhere. They can be actually almost at the top of the ground or really far down deep. What the problem is with fracking, let's say they go down to frack this area. So they frack this area and they put in all these terrible chemicals and the such down here and then they they use up all this oil in about a year and they close the well down and all these toxic chemicals leach up into these water reservoirs which are where California is getting their drinking water 
they have wells that go down into these reservoirs of water. And with fracking going on unabated, as you can see, a lot of the fracking will go right down through these reservoirs of water and into the, uh, into the oil reservoir. Here's the, uh, the fracking oil in the rock here in uh, San Francisco. As you can see, it's pretty light colored. Here's another piece. These all feel a little greasy, a little like they have wax on them. Now here's another one, I'll put it up here, which is a little darker. Now the darker one does have more oily type stuff in it. It actually will, it will actually come off your finger. It will, it'll get on your finger. We're lucky that the amount of oil in this rock is so little that they'll, they'll probably never go after it in a fracking sense. If you may not live in the areas that are being fracked, you're still subject to the consequences of fracking called earthquakes, especially near such a vulnerable area as to drill and frack or for oil. Um, this is crazy. The biggest oil reserves in the U.S. are in California and offshore. Santa Barbara and Los Angeles and San Diego. That's basically where most of the fracking will occur. However, fracking will be as far north as San Francisco and, far, and as far south as San Diego. And even parts of the Sierra Nevada will become frack lands, especially if it's BLM land. I, I, I find it so difficult that they would okay somebody come in to my land that I had to pay taxes for and frack and not pay me any money for taking the oil out of the land that I own. And every person in California owns these lands. This isn't the U.S.'s lands, it's the people of the U.S. own these lands and should be getting money from the use of these lands. Not a penny has ever come in my pocket. How about yours? <laughs> You know, fracking uses a lot of precious water that farmers could have used. But farmers were told they had to, had to abandon their crops and pull down the trees. Yet fracking will have all the water they want. That does it for the latest oil updates. And I'll keep you up on anything that's happening. Right now, most oil is depleting throughout the world except for the U.S. and a few other countries which are, are slightly going up because of the fracking. However, we're surely paying for it, earthquake damage and water pollution. Well, people, until next time.